hello and welcome to this new moon which takes place on Tuesday August 18th and there's a lot of good possibilities with this new moon so if you know in your chart where it takes place um, that is an area of your life where it will be highlighted very beneficially the new moon takes place at 26 degrees of Leo and it's receiving a beneficial angle called a trine in astrology from Mars at 24, almost 25 degrees of Aries. So Mars is, is making this wonderful angle to this new moon. Now that in itself is extremely good. Mars is the planet of courage, energy, and action. So we want to know, okay, number one, what is it giving this courage and energy to? So the first thing I did, and do any rate, is look to see in human design what gate this new moon takes place in. And it takes place in gate 29. And the highlight you know, statement for that gate is commitment, the automatic yes. So first off the bat, that tells me that the, the Mars making a beneficial angle is giving us the courage to step forward and make that commitment, that automatic yes. Now it's going to be different, obviously, for all of us. And I don't want you to think of this out there in the universe because you don't have any control over out there. The only control we have is in here. So in your life, okay, where do you need to make the commitment and make the automatic yes to yourself? And then Mars will give you the courage, the energy to take that action. So that's the gate where the new moon takes place. Then I go to the exact degree because within a gate is six degrees. So 26 degrees Leo. Are you ready for this? <laughs> it's called the rainbow. All right, now what a rainbow is that a gift, okay? Uh, a rainbow, this is a symbol of the overall realization which comes to man for his guidance whenever he strives to reach his goals of a more enduring sort. Now the rest of it uh, will be on my website, but it's the, it's the rainbow, all right? Um, so here we've got this degree of the rainbow in the gate of commitment and the automatic yes, being supported by Mars, courage, energy, and action. So this is taking place in the universe and falls somewhere in everybody's chart. So everybody will experience it differently, but that energy and that opportunity of what I've just described will be somewhere for everyone in their life. But, and this is a big but, if you keep focusing out there on all the negative stuff, all right, you're not going to do for yourself, all right? When you are true to yourself and you put yourself in that positive state and put out these wishes and know that rainbow can come, you help the universe. You do not help the universe by repeating and focusing on all the negative stuff because what we focus on, we give energy to. And this new moon is saying, no, step out of it. Step out of it. Make that commitment. Make that yes. This yes is at the end of the rainbow there. Wonderful, all right? So, that is the most important thing. Then, I looked at the gate that the Mars is in that is making this beneficial angle to the new moon. And the gate 42 is increase and benefiting. Now let's think about this for a minute. Mars, courage, energy, action, making a beautiful trine to the new moon in the gate of commitment and the automatic yes, at the end of the rainbow. I mean, the energy is really 
going to focus and give us all in some shape or form in our lives the opportunity to step into this energy. I mean, I thought it was pretty remarkable when I looked at it. Um, <clears throat> there's other things that are going on also at the same time and they can present some challenges. And one of the things that I have noticed over, what, 50 years of doing astrology, I could be doing a chart for someone and I can tell them all this good stuff. I give them one little caution and that's what they focus on. Oh my God, she said Saturn is, you know? So I try to downplay it. I, I, I need to say it, but I want to downplay it because don't give the energy in a negative way to anything. So Saturn is in a gate of limitation and restriction, and it's retrograde in that gate. Now already Saturn's negative side is that limitation, restriction, fear, paranoia, okay? Now, Saturn is in a tension aspect to Mars. So Mars is saying, have the courage, okay? The courage, the energy, to go after that commitment, that yes, that, that end of the rainbow, uh, increase that is benefiting. And Saturn goes, oh, I don't know. What about this? What about that? You demand from Saturn. And if you have my CDs where I do the tapping on the planets, you tap on Saturn. You get the script of, of that recording and you tap and you demand the positive energy of Saturn, which is structure, organization, discipline, and the gift is wisdom. So instead of having Mars fight with Saturn, like, no, I'm gonna have the courage, you know, but even though I'm scared, I'm gonna do it. I don't know, just step back and tap. I am going to take from Saturn with the courage of Mars the structure, the organization, but most of all, the wisdom to accept what's at the end of the rainbow for me, to accept that I can make this automatic yes and this commitment. That's what this whole picture is saying. I then looked at the aspect between uh, Jupiter and Neptune now these are slower planets so you know it's going to be there for a while but um, Neptune is in the gate of graciousness in um, in the human design and because it's slow it's in that gate for a long time uh, Jupiter retrograde right now is in the gate of ambition both material and spiritual and it's in a sextile to that Neptune. Now, I call that the Mafia offer. It's an offer too good to refuse. So, um, Jupiter, Jupiter and Neptune really get along well because Jupiter is faith, optimism, and abundance, and Neptune is the miracle maker. So, there's way more positive stuff in this configuration than the negative. And, you know, sometimes you need a little bit of the apprehension to make us align things, you know, better. Last but not least is the planet Uranus is in an offer too good to refuse to Venus. Now Venus moves one degree a day. So this is an aspect just for the day. Okay. I mean, this is, this is an aspect that is uh, powerful simply because it's not something that's going to stay in an angle you know, for a while. What does Venus rule? You know what I say, it doesn't matter where the planet is, it is what it is. So Venus rules love, money, creativity. Those are her, her gifts. Uranus is the planet of change and freedom. And so this is an offer too good to refuse. So whether it's in the area of, of love and feeling, whether it's in the area of creativity, whether it's in the area of money, Okay, we have to put out there on this new moon the, and I would tap on this, the, that I am attracting prosperity that is freeing my life. 
I don't know about you, but to me, that's all money is, freedom, you know? Who needs a Rolls Royce or, you know, <laughs> very expensive stuff. Money is freedom. And so Uranus is the planet of change and freedom. I haven't looked at the stock market chart with this aspect, probably I should, and probably I will for those that uh, follow it with me. Um, but that's a very, very positive aspect that day. And um, I am really excited about it all. The, um, the gate that Jupiter is in, the gate, that gate of ambition, material and spiritual, um, you know, we've been conditioned, not just this lifetime, and probably many lifetimes, you know, by expressions, you know, dirty money, he's filthy rich, and you know, negative expressions. And even though we now today, intellectually, we're smart enough not to buy into that, but sometimes our unconscious is still carrying those memories. So this aspect under this new moon, and, it, and that's gonna be in place for a while uh, because these are slower planets. The, the abundance when you intend it in a spiritual way, and what I mean by that is I am accepting that I deserve abundance to flow into my life. And I am in gratitude for that, okay? So that's, this is the offer too good to refuse. And um, I just feel that it's, I'm excited about it. I think it's a great new moon. I've had a couple of clients that, and if you have a birthday anywhere around that date, say, okay, probably from the 16th to the 20th, you know, you're going to have that new moon close to your sun. So it's going to be that much more powerful for you. If you have a moon at that degree, or your ascendant at that degree, it's going to be incredibly powerful. So have fun with it. Um, for those of you who know me well and do the tapping, okay, tap all those wishes in. You know, the, what the tapping does, it puts the energy of the body and the unconscious in that positive space. So have fun with it and have a wonderful new moon. Bye.